Hi, I'm Marie Eldridge. I'm a studio educator and I am excited to show you the new glide foot and how to attach it and especially all the fun things you can do with it. So first of all, we'll just put it on here. I've already taken my other foot off. So I'm just going to lift that needle bar so it'll slide on just like the other one foot did. You use your Allen wrench. There we go, just like that we have it on. One of the fun things that you can do with this is going to be to put my um, plumb line across this batting. This is wool batting that's a little thicker. So we'll just get this set up and show you how that works. I'm going to show you how to use the glide foot to do a plumb line. What I have here is a layer of wool and a layer of 80-20. So a lot of times when you're doing that, your foot can get caught. And think about when you have like polyester batting, how sometimes your foot gets caught. It's really hard to just do a plumb line with that. And we always want to start with a straight line to line our fabric up with to start our quilt square. So I've already pulled up my bottom thread. I've set this uh, to a basting stitch. You just pull up your thread just like through the same through a hopping foot. So I'm just going to go across here. You can see how that foot just glides across the top of there, goes right across the top of the batting. Okay, let's talk about some fun things and some challenging things with that we can use this glide foot for. So first, the fun thing. Look at this big, huge rick rack. You can get this and that little hole in there. You can line up your needles so you are right on the edge of that rick rack. You can go right along the edge of it. See how it just holds it down, lays it flat. You can stitch right along the edge of there. You can also stitch right on the rick rack. So another thing that might be a little bit of a challenge is we're doing and seeing a lot of antique quilts. This is one that was hand stitched. So applique and hand stitching, that will just go along the edge of there. You don't have to worry about it grabbing the edge or catching there. So this is another great way to use it. All right, here's one that's kind of one of those challenges. See how they've come across here and there's four different seams that meet there. Normally, if you came across here with your hopping foot, you're gonna push that fabric across and then you're not gonna get the stitching straight. But with the glide foot, it's just gonna glide across there. You can stitch whichever way you want. So again, this is one of those antique quilts that's uh, hand stitched and this would be awesome for that. How about minky? Layers of minky, that gets really thick. So you can use the glide foot for that, not have to worry about it. This is one of those quilts that you really are scared when you get it from your friend. And you can see right here, can you see how that little fold, that little tuck in the fabric? So you know going into it that you're going to have piecing problems. You can either fix that or you can just glide across there. But you don't have to worry about grabbing that with the hopping foot. Okay, so another fun thing. You can see here that this vine was put down and then I used the pro stitcher and did the background edge to edge right over the top of it. So you can use the hopping, use the glide foot and just go across that and you're not grabbing it all. Then you can come back in and put your um, raw edge applique on there. You could even use it for that. Here's another one that there's just like a little channel that goes across there. And again, that glide foot's just gonna go across there. There are a lot of fun things you can use this glide foot for. We're still discovering some and we're sure you will too. I hope you have fun with it.